All right, got my delivery from UPS. Been waiting a little while. I got one of these babies unpacked because the box looked like it got thrown off the side of a cliff when I got it here. Big ass hole in it, and somehow she made it right good, so we're we're good to go. Got number 47 in this box. I'm going to be taking my jackhammer out and putting two 18 SMDs in there and see what happens. This one here, we're going to crack it open. And I'll hand off the camera and we'll open it see which number we get. Yeah. Seems to pack real well. UPS does a good job of beating shit out of them. Number 48. We got 47 and 48. I'll take this guy out of the box. This box made it without any problems at all. Probably a scratch on it. The other one has a hole in it. You can probably throw a cat through. Yeah. This one looks a hell of a lot better. Side by Steve, 47 and 48. Pretty beefy. Little dust. Not bad. If he looks at this box over here, bust it all the hell. If they can make it through that. They can make it through that kind of shipping right there. Then I'll be able to take a beating in the tub. I'll get some more video. I got the boxes built. Right over here. Got it all built. Double valve on the top. Got to cut everything out. Got it marked and ready. Put it right down the back. Figure out where we're going to cut it out, get it ported and done. I got all, all the other hardware I needed today, so we're going to start in and get this thing installed in there, get these babies rolling. We'll get some more video once it's all once it's all going up and going. We'll get some numbers on it later. All right, new little something I got here. I guess you could say I got a couple of things new for the old Tahoe. Had my jackhammer in there running for, oh, I don't know, over a year, year and a half. Got a little, uh, got a little old, need something new. So I guess you could say it's uh, out with Jack and in with Steve. Um, my box is just about done. Uh, few people up here on YouTube talking about me not being able to build an enclosure or some baloney, I don't know. 
anyways we got two SMD 18s uh, use my term pro program got a real nice box set up for this thing fits in a pretty small box working with the port right now um, I gotta get in here this is just a rough rough deal I'm gonna kind of go in there and try to do a little video of it and stuff can't really see anything in here but if I could this thing back out there Alrighty. Go back in here real quick and see if I can show you anything inside. I don't know if you can see them up in there, which you probably can't. Pretty blurry, but a couple of 18s. Uh, got the double stack magnet. Got some real nice uh, binding post there that goes through uh, with the wire. All I can say is um, I've owned a jackhammer for about two, I don't know, two, three years now. Um, and it did really well. Uh, my main problem was putting all the power to it. I have uh, four 92,001 MTX amps. Uh, putting out a good, I'm going to say probably around 14,000 RMS with the voltage. Um, and the old jackhammer is rated 12,000 max. It's taking it, but... Uh, it didn't like it too much, and after you beat on it for so long, things start wearing out after years, so I did a little something different. Waiting for something good, Meads came out. I gotta tell you, I got nothing but good things to say. These things take a hell of a beating. My next addition was my four, four alternator set up here. Um, had the bracket for probably, I don't know, a year in the alternators. Um, finally got it put in there. Um, it's an Aragi setup. All nators are from Mech, from Mech Man. Uh, there's four 250s on there, but I can tell you, Aragi does a pretty bad job when it comes down to, to giving you instructions. They give you some nice detailed pictures, but you're going to sit there for a day and cuss. But it's on there, and it's been on there for probably about two months now, and it works like a dream. Uh, three runs of one out to the back, two runs of ground. Probably could use some more, but right now that's about all I got time to put in. Um, I got seven kinetic 2400s, uh, an 1800 up front, and my stock battery over there. Um, showed all this stuff once before, but I, that was like last year. I'm gonna be doing some term lab uh, numbers here shortly. I got a, another port I gotta try right here. Try another port, a little longer, and see if I can tune it down just a little bit. I'm real happy with it right where it's at, but I'm gonna have it all apart, putting some glass and stuff in it, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and might as well do it now, otherwise I ain't going to be able to do it, so I'll get some more video as I go, but all I can say is um, these speakers um, are some serious business. I got 047, I got number 47 there and number 48. Um, I've driven down the road. Most likely my jackhammer would have caught on fire with what I've been throwing at these things. Uh, man, these things take it like a fucking champ, I, I gotta tell you. Nothing but good things. Um, I'm an old school dude. I like beating on stuff, and uh, I'm not pushing anybody's brand. But if you're gonna buy, if you're gonna buy anything at all, and for the money, you just can't buy anything better than this right here. The way these things sound is unbelievable. I'll get some numbers up here shortly, um, and I'll keep working on this thing. I'm gonna help to get it all carpeted today and everything. I got a competition coming up here uh, next Saturday. We're going to see what she does. I plan on winning. So uh, I'll get another video as soon as I can. Later.